are delighted to have with us now the block in Z contestants, Palms to North, Bestie, Stace and Yanita. Team Orange, welcome yes. to the cafe. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I love that you guys get the promo going, oh, we look so young. Oh, no. So young and fresh face back then when we knew nothing. Yeah, so nice. Oh, five kilos lighter. <laughs> but I Pretty thought sure. if you went on a show like this, you're so busy, you would lose weight, wouldn't you? Oh, we, we thought so too, but no. No? <laughs> we can just pressure eat. Whenever there's a you know a decision that needs to be made, we're like, where's the chocolate? Yeah. And then we might. I would be, be the same. I would be exactly the same. Um, Stace, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're a mum of two and a freelance, freelance um, designer as well. And yeah. Sultan. How has it been leaving your kids? Ooh, uh, really tough. Yeah. Like any mum would tell you, it is really hard to be away from my little men, but they are always on the FaceTime with me in the evenings and encouraging us to get our work done. Yeah. Actually, they don't even <laughs> want to chat for very long. They're just like, can you get back to that insulation, mum? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. And I guess part of it too is helping set up a future for the boys, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I do make light of things from time to time, but yeah. Being on the block is a really great opportunity for my little family. Yeah, mummy's doing it hard for you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your vegetables. Oh, that's right. And yeah. Anita, okay, you're a PhD student, uh, also Stacey's flatmates, and you're good, it says here, with a tight budget. Is there anything else we should know? Oh, anything else you should know? Mm -hmm. Stacey likes to have showers with her underwear on. <laughs> what is this about you? Oh, about me? Oh, okay, sorry. No, really no I like that. that. I'm, I'm, that, that. Truck right now. <laughs> I'm passing the bucket. You know, I love it. <laughs> what a stitch up. <laughs> Okay, before we address you, you need to, we do it, why? Uh, I get a little bit excited about showers and, you know, and then I'll take all my clothes off and then I sometimes might just leave my underwear on and I'll hop in and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited about the shower, I left my undies on. Oh, that counts as a wash, that's fine. It does, right? <laughs> then you don't need to put them in the laundry later. Right now, it's only fair, you're going to have to tell us something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Coming back, okay. Um, Oh, you're not bad on the old splits, actually. Oh, the old splits. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Being the dancer that she is, she can just whip out splits whenever she needs to. Don't ask me to whip it out now, though. Okay, I'll well. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yes, we 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 make some room up. Yeah. <laughs> we're having some hula lately. No, we can't let you rip anything right now before you actually tear it, <laughs> before you get it stuck in back to your houses. Um, so, obviously, you, you've renovated some places. Yes. Before. You have not. I have not. I have painted a letterbox once in primary yeah. school. It was so real how, fun. How are those skills <laughs> standing up for you in the block? Um, yeah, being thrown into the deep end, you learn a lot really quickly. Um, I'm definitely not professional at anything yet, and maybe never will be, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always, uh, we don't lack enthusiasm, so yeah, that's and, important. And, and how yeah. have you found the experience of being, you know, in our living rooms, you know, quite a lot, and people recognising you coming up? Has that changed life for you much? Uh, we get a lot of hugs. Which we're quite happy mm. about, you know, when we're walking down the street, that's, that's nice. Um, Do you get any free stuff? You got any good, you're, you're on that? Not little bandwagon? No, I haven't really Not yet. a lot of free stuff. I think we might be missing a beat there, eh? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. got a free coffee once. That was really cool. Oh, we did too. Well, yeah, yeah. Jessie yes. can hook you up here too, don't <laughs> yeah. you worry about that. Okay, I wanted to know, so just I'll go through you both, some quick questions about okay. the block. Um, what would be some of the positives? Oh, I get to hang out with you, Nita, all yes. the time. Is that a positive? Uh, yeah, I question that from time to time. I was trying to be diplomatic. Okay, cool. Keep going. Um, positives. Uh, the experience is just mm. like nothing else, honestly. You know, to really have awesome highs, you have to have incredible lows yeah. as well. So we're just having the time of our lives. So. Okay, now I'm going to ask you what some of the negatives are. Mm. Over to oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not sleeping. It's mm. really, really hard when you're going full out every single mm. day and you have two hours sleep. So the sleep um, depri deprivation is real? Oh, it's absolutely real. It's massive. You know, we find we, we're not very productive when we can't sleep, but you have to be because you've got a deadline to meet. So yeah. um, it's really tricky. Uh, eating healthy can be hard sometimes too because yeah. you have to go all the time. How do you manage um, that? Well, you obviously don't. You put on five kilos. Yeah. <laughs> muscle. It's all muscle. Oh, muscle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. What would be Walking up that scaffolding? Yeah. What would be the most difficult part so far for you, room-wise? Room-wise? Mm. Mm. Oh, the, um, the hardest part was probably our master bedroom bathroom because yeah. it's an amazing space and it's huge mm. but everybody was like, don't spend that much money and mm. I was like, are you serious? The views are incredible, why would we not make the most of that? Mm. Mm. So yeah, that was probably the hard one. Yeah. Okay, and if you had to eliminate two contestants, I know this isn't the reality if show. We had to, yeah. If you had to eliminate two right. contestants, Here we go. Yeah. which two would you get rid of? You know, you, look, you had a win on Sunday night, which was fantastic, so things are going good. Mm -hmm. You now are faced with a decision, I'm just making okay. this up, that you had to get rid of two. We'll say it at the same time. Are you ready? Let's see if we can meow uh, our uh, brain. Okay. Uh, We've got to do it. We've got to one, eliminate two. One, two, three. Julia and Ellie. <laughs> 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 you were the same, wasn't it? I was going to do it, I just what forgot. <laughs> and why would you choose them? 
Um, because they use the negative two against us, one for our once for our bathroom. Mm. That's, That's right. Why. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you've got to play strategic, haven't you? There's a lot going on. Not only are you designing and actually building, mm. but you're also trying to think about all those strategic moves. Mm. Yeah, it's a hard one because we know we're in a game and you have to do what you need to do to win the game, but we also don't want to lose who we are. You know, we want to keep our integrity and leave the way we came, and sometimes you have very little time to make decisions, and then you make them and you're like, oh, should I have done that? Right. So it's, yeah, mm. it's really tricky. We've struggled with that the whole way through. Oh, best mm. of luck. Thank you. That's fine, honestly. And the whole country's talking about the block this season, so congratulations. All down to the personalities in it, I think, as well. Yeah. So yeah. Now we wait and see what is going to happen. The sixth season of The Block NZ continues on 3, Sundays at 7pm, and then Monday through to Wednesday at 7.30, or, of course, you can catch it on 3 now. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. I won't forget that one. <laughs>